What is up, golfers RX? Mr. Short Game here. Today, we're gonna to work on an awesome little drill that's gonna dial in your wedge game. Let's do it. Okay, who's looking to hit more pure wedge shots, uh, get the ball more compressed, closer to the hole, you know, all that good stuff that uh, everybody's trying to do. So here's a great way to do it, and it kind of might go um, against a lot of the conventional thoughts that you have uh, that, you know, so many people teach. What I want you to think about is this. I call this the, the forward, forward drill. So what we're gonna do is, Take your normal setup with your wedge. I have a pitching wedge here. You know, not a driver stance. It's just kind of shoulder width, slightly less than that. Weight is 50-50. I'm not leaning forward or back. Now, when I take my swing back, I am gonna turn my hips a little bit, but I'm not going to transfer my weight to my right side at all. What I'm gonna do is feel like I'm actually turning my hips and my weight is moving forward. Hence, forward, forward, right? So I'm rotating a little bit back and feeling like I'm more on my front foot. And then as I rotate through the ball, I'm gonna move more forward. So I'm constantly moving that direction. That's why I call it the forward, forward drill. And as you can see, I mean, I'm hitting ball and then massive divot. And that's what I want. I wanna feel like I'm constantly going this direction. If you look at old, uh, videos of Arnold Palmer, you know, even with his driver, you know, he's like this and he's fully turned, but it looks like he's kind of leaning forward. Now, his weight is actually back here because of just the laws of physics. And as you turn your hips, your, your body weight is going to be out here, but you're moving forward. And that's what we're trying to achieve here. But for the drill, I want you to feel like you're going forward and constantly moving your body forward even after that. So forward, forward. And already I'm hearing a sound that is just so crisp and pure. More so than if I were to transfer my way back and then go forward. And that ball is higher in the air and that would cause you to flip your hands if you're transferring back here. We don't want any of that. So I went forward and constantly moving down forward again. And it's a great drill to work on with your wedge game because this is where you really want to make sure your weight isn't moving around too much. Forward, forward. And everything is out here. My chest is over my foot. Everything's moving in, the, in one direction. Because in golf, the less you do, the better off you really are. So we're always trying to take stuff out of the swing. Very rarely am I trying to add, oh, you need to move more. Quite often it's, hey, you need to move less. We move way too much. So we're trying to quiet everything down. So forward, forward. And the reason we work on it with the wedges is because we want our wedges to go low. Really, you want low wedges, high long irons. So here, it's a great way to work on this drill because we want those wedges to flight a little bit lower. Ooh, crispy right there. So that's all there is to it. One swing thought, one thought process, stay on that front foot and drive through and around even more. And just think, you hear me say it while I'm swinging, forward, forward. And you're gonna hit crispy little wedge shots time and time again, and you'll learn how to flight it down. And the, believe it or not, the lower you get it, it has a lot of spin because you're hitting it so purely with the club and you're driving down through that ball. It's a pure, crisp shot. Good luck out there. I know you can do it. Be sure to keep checking your inbox for more tips from me, Mr. Short Game. Until then, work hard. See you soon.